Here's something kind of fun that you guys might not know about this car. So on the key fob, if I hit lock, yeah, that's right. This bad boy's got remote start. Go figure. I think I just caught a Zika bug. And it flew off. Go figure. <laughs> I uh, just got back from a uh, quick run over to a Target store to pick up a watch battery because, uh, yeah, I'm one of those guys that still wears a watch. You kind of see the tan line there. You gotta love that. Uh, naturally, the people I work with were poking fun at me, asking me uh, on a pretty regular basis, hey, what time is it? And of course, my response is always, uh, freckle past a hair because, you know, that's probably the cheesiest thing I could think of that's kind of annoying to respond with. But, uh, yeah. So, the video that I'm going to put out today is actually going to be some older footage that uh, I got when we first got the car fresh from the auction. Kind of do a tour of what it was, the way it was, when we got it. So, little Zika bug is driving me crazy. There's one of them right there. I don't know if you can see them. There's another one buzzing around here somewhere, but uh, good old Florida. Gotta love the insects down here. Here we have 2010 Chevy Impala cop car. Cloth seats are in really good shape. That's kind of rare on a cop car. Usually the uh, seat back is kind of shredded from the gun belt so both seats are in pretty good shape um, real dirty pick this car up from the auction needs a good cleaning so probably spend the weekend doing that uh, but there's the leftover wiring from everything that was bolted up in the center here the uh, dash is in pretty good shape usually the dash is cracked or messed up from the Sun this car does have a spotlight and it works It's got like 140 something thousand miles on it, but it runs pretty good. I know a common problem with these vehicles, these Impalas, is uh, usually the transmission gives up and this one seems pretty strong right now. Still got pieces of the cage in here. Of course it's got a vinyl back seat. Rubber floor. And there's actually a piece of tape from the outside. And they're moving the graphics. There's some bolts laying around from uh, removing things. Rear deck's in pretty good shape. Ceiling's not too bad. There's some weird, dirty things. Like that's some strange dust. I'm guessing it's possibly from the cage or something that was up here some handprints things like that I guess probably arrested a couple people that were grimy oh, oh yeah there's uh, a bunch of uh, police codes on the uh, sun visor there thought that was kind of interesting I'm guessing they probably forgot to pull that stuff out of course it's got the cop wheels just kind of neat. There's one of the uh, antenna mounts. There's actually another one up here. And if you look close, you can see some decal impressions here and there. Might not be coming through very easily on the camera, but.
Like you might be able to see the word sheriff around the Chevy logo. I'm not sure if it's actually coming through or not. Another kind of fun thing. So you can see where the light bar was mounted. And you see the uh, the whaling that kind of bled through. And they were nice enough to tape the hole on the roof. And you might be able to see this decal impression. If the camera will focus. There we go. Uh, the car here was uh, 326, I believe was a vehicle number. And a Go Rhino push bar on the front. Man, this little bastard is hungry. He's been eating the hell out of this window. Yeah, he's still there. Just going to town on it. Just another day down here, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy checking out the car. If you have not subscribed, please do. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a big old thumbs up. And if you have anything you want to add, thoughts, questions, concerns, leave me a comment. I'd appreciate it. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and love to every one of you. That's a big old pothole. It's like they have no predators. It's like they have none. I, I just squished him. He was so fearless. No, it was. <laughs> oh, goodbye, Zinkabug. Goodbye.